everybody it's your girl jay drake and i am back with another motivational minutes you know just to in, inspire those who need some encouragement and uplifting you know and who needs a different perspective and outlook from the norm that we see online but um i wanted to talk about something that's always been on my been on my heart um you know for the past few years it seems like we've the society has this concept now where basically everyone is like stay out your feelings you know and you you don't want to be in your feelings all the time but I feel like it's okay to be in your feelings sometime you know so many people walk around you know acting like they don't have any emotions and like they don't care I don't care I don't care I feel like walking around in the spirit of I don't care is living a lie because you do care you just act like you don't and people walk around holding so much guilt and hurt and pain inside because they feel like they don't have no one to talk to or they feel like if they talk to somebody about it like something's revealed about them and they don't want their business getting out there you know which is totally understandable but I feel like I feel like everyone needs somebody to talk to I don't care who you are how tough you are everyone needs somebody to talk to that they can open up to about any and everything that's on their heart someone where they don't have to worry about being judged or have to worry about their business getting out there or someone making them feel bad for how they feel you all everyone needs that person it and it, it it's crazy how sometimes when I talk to people and they say they say that they feel like they don't have no one to talk to and I'm like no one in your group your your friends like you you can't open up to them about what you're really going through or how you're really feeling and they say no and i'm like why are you hanging around why are you hanging around people you can't talk to why are you calling people your friends that you can't talk to it just it sounds like you got a bunch of associates to me but i know for me i know i i have maybe about three or four friends that i know that i can talk to about any and everything i don't have to worry about my business getting in the street and i don't have to worry about judgment I, they and I can do that for them as well. And I just feel like it's it's a great feeling. It's therapeutic, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and if you, if you don't want to talk to anybody still, you know, get you a journal, write it down. That's therapeutic. Get you a therapist. Everybody needs a therapist. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody, every single person on this earth need a therapist. I don't care. Like even when I started going, like I, I <laughs> the first three times I went I turned around because I'm like, I don't need this. Like, I'm good. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm over it. No. But every time I went back, she gave and she gave me a different perspective on things. And I went to school to be a therapist. Yes, therapists need therapists as well. Everybody needs a therapist. One more time. Everybody needs a therapist. <laughs> but yes, like, don't walk around, you know, holding guilt, shame, and hurt on the inside. Don't be bound by those things. Set yourself free. Do what you have to do to be free mentally. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of happy people, a lot of happy people, a lot of rich people walking around hurting real sad and depressed. And and it's and it's it's sad. It's sad. And and I hate seeing people, you know, end up in situations, you know, suicide, you know what I'm saying, you know, on drugs, you know, doing drugs just to to quote unquote find peace. You know what I'm saying? Doing certain things to find peace when in actuality it's not peace. You you're in a temporary escape. That's a temporary escape. You know, real peace is when you can sit in in your hurt and pain and guilt or whatever you're going through and you can still be happy. You can still and push and move forward and aim for better. You know what I'm saying? And also like my friends, like when we get in our feelings, like I always tell my friends, you know, you can cry to me, you can soak in your sorrows, but I'm only going to let you do that for so long. You know, we're, we're not going to stay in there. We're going to figure out how to, a way to move on and how we can push forward. You know, I'm, I might give you about a week and I know every once in a while, you know, you, you might have to bring it up to, to talk about whatever you're going through. Like you can do that, but we're not, we're not staying, we're not staying we're not soaking in our sorrows forever. We're not doing that. We're pushing past that. We got we got a lot of life to live on this earth. We got too much living to do, you know, and we got to enjoy this life and what it has to offer us. You know, like Dr. Miles one 
like Dr. Miles Monroe say, we wouldn't be put here to just work and pay bills and die. That ain't no fun. You know, you got to be open to receive your good and discover your gifts and utilize them and share them with the world. You know, when I get up every day on my way, when I when I meditate and pray, you know, I say I am open to receive my good. I'm open to receive my good for today, you know, and I let my positive affirmations play while I'm on my way to work because I got to because at work I'm listening, not work, at the place that funds my dreams. I have to listen to people problems all day. You know, people that want even people that want to kill themselves. So I have to have a good regimen to keep me going, to keep me sane. You know, and you know that's what you have to do. You know, you have to find what works for you. You know, don't sit in your sorrows. Don't soak in your sorrows. Like someone, someone is depending on you. Whether it's your children, or maybe you have some friends that are looking to you, that look up to you. You never know who you inspire or who you are inspiring on this earth. You know, especially with social media nowadays, like we inspire people in other states and countries. Like, don't let nobody else down. Don't let yourself down. Please. Please. So, that's all that was on my heart. I'm about to get some of this good Sunday dinner. Go see my daddy. Y'all have a good day and be blessed. Until next time.